live now. Two. Oh, I had to be careful which finger said what. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Hello. What's going on? Hey, as always, before we start our show, let us know in the chat if you can see us well and hear us clearly. <laughs> Oopsies. And uh, we'll get started. Ben Hawk says, I'm working. Don't tell anyone. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll be quiet. We should do the whole show whisper. <laughs> um, oh, vegan yeah. flipper in the chat. Hey, sorry that um, it took me so long to get your coffee out to you, but you should have it this week. At least. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I'm nice. so sorry. Um, everybody, anybody who like ordered stuff on our website, um, I think I just forgot to ship stuff out last week. And last week I was didn't a weird realize. week. I realized that was a weird week. Yeah. Um, but that this was week, a bad week last week. It's already a better week on this yeah. Monday. So, yeah. Um, yeah, what's going on, guys? I see a few people saying it's their first time in a live chat, which oh, is pretty cool. Excited. Oh, good. He got it. He got his coffee already. Yes. Awesome. Cool. And we have 186 people watching already. Nice. Very cool. As always, guys, please hit that thumbs up button for us. We appreciate it. And it helps us out. we will get started. Let's do it. Um, what did I put for the title? Guess what we sold on eBay? Yeah, so throughout yes. this show, again, if you guys are new to this, um, throughout the show tonight, we stream for an hour, so till nine o'clock. And throughout the show, we're gonna be doing like a game show style thing where I'll ask you guys, or I'll read off a title of an eBay item that we sold recently, and then you guys guess the price of it. Um, and then you'll win stuff like money or beanies, cool stuff. Yeah. And we stuff. can give you little tips on buying brands or what to buy of certain brands. Yep. And what we don't buy of certain brands and what we do buy of Absolutely. certain brands. Yeah. And then, um, as always, guys, if you have questions, put your questions in the chat and we will do our best to answer your questions. I think because there isn't like a like a whole topic that we want to talk about in today's video. It's just going to be a Q and A style thing. So we will answer whatever questions we can get around to. We should be able to answer a whole bunch of them. And we like fun questions as well. We do. Anything about reselling or life or why Callie doesn't wear her hair down more? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think Callie should dread her hair. Mm. That's what I'm pro. Callie That'd dreading cool. her hair. Will you help me dread it? Well, I thought you had a girl who could dread it. I know, but like that costs money and you could be like free help. Well, why don't we YouTube it? It can't be that. Allie Crafts. Allie Crafts. Allie Crafts. Allie Crafts. <laughs> Allie Crafts <at> Callie's hair. <laughs> um, Poshers Club says, uh, you guys plan on going to the darn bins or what? Question mark. Oh, man, the bins. I like how I got kind of country when I said that. You going to the darn bins or what? <laughs> oh, wow. That was very good. You can do a country um, accent far I better can. than like a South African I accent. I know. That's weird. Ryan can't do a South African no. accent, which was his first accent. I can't. That was pretty close. I can't. I can't. Um, so yeah, we are we are going to go to the bins. One of our friends who's local to the area, she goes to the bins in Lakeland, and she invited us with her. So we're going to go. We're going to glove up and put our gas masks on and get in there and fix some stuff. But we'll yeah. be sure to film it and all that stuff. Glove and Lauren, one of our favorite people in the world, sent us five dollars. Oh, Thank you, Lauren. Lauren. Hey, girl. We're excited to come out to Chicago and hang out with you guys. Very excited. And then we're coming to Chicago November 14th through the 19th. Yeah. And we have a meetup scheduled for that Saturday, which I think is the 17th. We're going to mm. do a link on our website and you can RSVP. It's yeah. going to be free. But if you RSVP, it definitely helps us get a good headcount. Yes, and, please um, RSVP. Yeah, it, it'll help us out. Yeah. Oh, and we got another super chat, $10 from Bay Area Thrift. Well, thank you. Y'all are great. Appreciate you. No worries. That's I awesome. I actually lived in the thank Bay Area. You. lived in Lynn Haven for two years of my life. There's lots There's of many bays. Bay yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that's probably like San Francisco Bay Area. You, you don't know. I don't. Like, I like you don't I know. You should of assume because assuming makes, I can't say that word, there's, out of you and me. There's a, uh, it's a live chat. Oh, and there's there could a, be children watching. There's a Tampa Bay Area too. Yeah. Boom. All right. Um, any advice on storing hats and shoes in a small inventory area? Yeah. Callie? We literally have one bin with probably 40 plus hats yeah. in it. The you cool just fold the back in and they all stack. Exactly. Yeah. Especially with snapbacks. Like you can just stack them on top of each other. Yeah. They and that's how we really also nicely. ship them with the back folded in. Right. Some tissue paper. And then we'll wrap it in bubble wrap. But now we have like these, those little bags. I don't know what they're called. Oh, the poly bags? No, not the poly bags. Oh, like the, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know what they're called either. Um, and then shoes. So we used to put them on uh, shoe racks, but our shoe racks literally fell apart. They 
The one day <laughs> they were like yeah. not very high quality ones. And one day we we got to the warehouse and our shoes were just all over the floor. So until we get better quality ones, I um, could build one if you just find me like some plans. I have a miter saw. Whoa. Alley crafts. But shoe you racks. have to build you have to find the plans. Okay. That's I'm fine. not doing it. Because no building shoe racks doesn't sound easy. It doesn't. So you have to find the plans. Okay. Like if you cook, I clean. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah right. <laughs> flipping flipping curls thank you for the five dollar super chat it says thanks for your tip on buying ugly shoes got a pair of clogs for four dollars and sold them for fifty dollars nice. an, an hour, hour after, after i listed them wow. you guys are awesome nice, that's good. cool you know what's funny is that like um i tell people too that one of the best ways to start with shoes like if you know nothing about shoes if you don't know brands or anything just go to the shoe aisle in a thrift store and look for the weird shoes yeah, that's a really good right? starting point. If you're like, that's yeah. a weird looking shoe, you pick it up, most of the time it's going to be some something of value. You know, a good example are those, um, the Z coil shoes. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I put those on Absolutely. and walked Did you? around in them. That was fun. Yeah. And those things, um, those are, if you guys don't know, they're shoes with like a, like a coil built into the heel. heel. Um, and they sell for like a hundred bucks. So definitely pick those yeah. up. Is there a difference between Tommy Hilfiger and Tommy Jeans? Um, same company, just different brands of that same company. So it's both Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Jeans is just the Tommy Jeans line. There's other other ones that are also in there, like um, uh, Tommy Outdoor is one that's in there. Uh, Tommy Sailing Gear. So they're all like brands underneath the same brand. Yeah, and some are more rare. So like Tommy yeah. Sailing Gear has a higher value rare. than just regular Tommy. Correct. But guys, remember, I know that. Uh, People think we buy a lot of Tommy, but we've said many, many times before, we yeah. probably buy 2%, if not 1% of the Tommy yeah. we see. And whenever we're searching through Tommy, maybe we grab 5% and we're only right. buying 1%, yeah. period. I all actually, of it. So we buy very little Tommy because it's not- It's gotta be unique. It has to be unique and it has to be rare. And it has to be vintage, basically. Like, right. We've never bought a Tommy dress shirt ever, unless it was vintage. Like, unless it was Tommy vintage, dress yeah. Shirt. Like a new one, a newer ones, you know? The newer ones, no. And if some people think we buy a lot of Tommy, we buy very little Tommy. Yeah. But, I yeah. actually, I passed on a really cool one today. Um, there will be a thrifting video, a thrift haul video out tomorrow morning. Um, and in that video, you'll see me pass on this. It was a really, really nice vintage one, but it was seven bucks. And if it was like around three or four bucks, I would have picked it up. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was cool. Can we just give Ryan a hand for all these videos he's been pumping out this oh, week? Oh, thank you. And I last appreciate week, that. Kelly's I think proud of you. I think it was the first time I got seven in a row out. I enjoyed it. And I was it like, was yes, tough. Another one. <laughs> it was actually pretty tough. Um, Kurt Curtis says, "Do you guys do you guys have an eBay store? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Do you guys have an eBay store? Um, yeah, we have multiple eBay stores. the The main eBay store, the one that we share on YouTube, is called the Hip Lion." Oh. Um, our other stores we don't share, but that one's public. You can go check it out and see how we list and all that good stuff. And then Thrill of the Hit sent us a $5 super chat. Thank you. Thank Two you. questions. Why would you start? Oh, it's about the store. Why would you start a second store and can you do a shipping video? We actually, if you just go to uh, on YouTube in the search bar, just put Rally Roots Shipping. We have a bunch of shipping videos out there. I think like five or six of them. Um, and then why do we have a second store or more than one store? It's because our other stores are category specific. So instead of doing um, like mixing our wholesale inventory in with our thrifted or garage sale or auction inventory, we have a separate store that's dedicated to just one category. I'm not gonna tell you the category that it's dedicated to, but as an example, like if you were just gonna be selling automotive parts or just gonna be selling like pet supplies and you want a category or you want a store that's just around those products so that your customers come back multiple times and continue to buy from you, that's why we have secondary High stores. volume. Yeah. And then, whoa, we got $20. Yeah, $20 whoa. from Colin. That's cool. You want to read it? Yeah, sure. Okay. First full month of selling and I've, whoop, it's going up. First full month of selling and I've profited $1,700 on $3,500 wow. gross sales. of stuff brought at thrift stores and garage sales. Watched all of your videos before starting. Really appreciate what you do. Whoa, that's amazing. See, what I love about that is that you didn't just watch your videos and then do nothing. You actually took the knowledge that you learned and you went out and you put it into action. That's and the coolest thing. You did it well. Yeah. That's amazing. And good profit margin, by the way. 1700 out of 35 is very good. Good job. Some more people making it to the live. Adrian T said, I made it live. 
Um, someone said the camera's blurring. I don't. It's not blurry on our side. It might be your internet connection. Yeah, sometimes if you have a slower yeah. megabyte upload download speed, uh, YouTube will buffer and it'll look yeah. blurry so that you keep up with the live show Ooh. instead of pausing and you being behind. Hey, babe, we have 464 people watching Whoa. and already 100 Whoa. thumbs ups. Whoa. So should we do like, if we can get 150 thumbs ups, we'll give away 20 bucks? Totes, my God. How many thumbs ups? 150. Because okay. there's 465 okay. people yeah. watching, so. All right, $20 for only 150 thumbs up, I think is pretty generous. Yeah, so. everybody hit the thumbs up I button. would say 200 thumbs up. Ryan's uh, generous, I want to give more stuff away. <laughs> everybody hit the thumbs up button, and then when we get to 150, we will give away 20 bucks. Do it. Uh, greetings from St. Augustine. That's one of our favorite places to go visit. It's awesome. We got to go when it's like, like now, when it's nice and cool out, because St. Augustine is crazy hot. Um, but yeah, we love it out there. The ghost tours are fun. 158. Yay, oh, got it. That was fast. All right, cool. Let's do a giveaway. All right. Oh, let me see. Did you get the um, thingies? The tickety text. All right, guys. We're going to start everything. That one? Yeah, that's this is a great pretty cool. one. All right, guys. If you are new to this or if you've never played before, this is the way that it works. I'm going to read the title of an item that we sold on eBay. Um, all of these sold in the last week for us. And you're going to guess how much it sold for to the nearest whole dollar. So if it sold for uh, $79.99, you would put $80 in the chat. Okay. And it's after Callie types in go, that's when you start guessing. Um, and then as soon as you're, as soon as we see a winner, we're going to say stop. And then you guys can stop. Stop. So like, please stop. But also Katie and Vicky are in the chat. Oh, hey, no way. Hey, what up? Just saying, they slayed last time. So you guys have some competition because those girls know how to guess. They numbers. do. I they was do. super impressed. They killed it. All right. Are you ready? I'll also show a picture. I'll hold a picture up um, to the camera as well. So here we go. You have the price pulled up? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Um, all right, guys, here we go. Polo, Raf, Lauren, men's size, extra large, button up, vintage camp shirt, Hawaiian surfers, red. Here is the actual item. And go. And go. Whoever gets it first wins $20 and we'll PayPal it directly to you. That was a perfect we are three, looking. two, one, go. Oh my gosh, ah! that's so fast. Are you watching, Callie? I'm trying. Oh, very close. I'm looking. There's already been some really close ones. Oh, man. Did anybody get it yet? Oh my gosh, so close. Wait, go back up? I think I, I just saw it. I see it. I mean, I've definitely seen you saw it, one? but you're in line. All right, stop. Okay. Somebody got it. You guys can stop guessing now. Stop, 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 please. And please we are stop, scrolling stop, up. Please, in the name of love. love. <laughs> All right, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. You guys can stop. Is that the winner, Callie? I think so. Okay. I'm almost back. I see when I see when you said go. So I'm scrolling down now as well, just to make sure. We want to be fair, guys. We don't want to like accidentally give it to somebody else. So um, we're just scrolling through. A lot of people were like only a dollar off. off. So um, let's see. That was it. That was so it. So many yeah. people were only a dollar off before the person. All right, it. I see it. All right, guys, the winner is. Adrian Buckley. Buckley. Adrian winner, Buckley. Winner, chicken dinner. And the answer was $41 is what it sold for. $41. Adrian Buckley was the first person we saw on our side to get it. And we checked and double checked. So Adrian, Callie is typing in our contact email right now. And um, all you got to do is just send us your PayPal email address and we will send you $20 friends and family. Yeah. And then hopefully you can take the 20 bucks and turn it into Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. <laughs> I did the pinky thing too. Oh my gosh, yes. Awesome oh. powers. Hey, and we've got my brother Ben is in the chat, and tomorrow is Ben's birthday. Whoa. So everybody say happy birthday, Ben, in happy the chat. Happy birthday, Ben. Ben Benjamin. 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 Ba -ba -ba Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> ba -ba -ba Benny in the Jets. Yes. <laughs> Name that song. Benny and the Jets. Well, name the artist. Elton G. Hey, nice. Okay, um, back to questions, guys. Yeah. Whatever questions you have, put them in the chat, and we will try our best to see them. We have over 500 people watching already, Whoa, which is so cool. 
I love it. Oh, you guys uh, are so nice. So many That's birthdays. awesome. Oh, we got stop. <laughs> Ben, oh, Rusty Gold says Ben needs a spanking. I'll get oh. him. I'll get him tomorrow. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Bonafide was in the chat. Bonafide hustler. Yeah, <sighs> I know you can't tell, but I'm way bigger than him. So small. <laughs> His bones are bigger than yours, babe. That's a fact. It's true. <laughs> um, oh, good. Ben says thank you all. Uh, how can I send an email to Ryan? You can email me directly. It's ryan at ryanroots.com. That's my personal email if you want to reach out to me. Do we sell many Levi's? We actually, when we sell Levi's, we try to only sell new with tags Levi's or yeah. like high-waisted Levi's mm -hmm. and red tab. Yeah. Tab, tab, tag, tab, tab, red tab, tab with a B. Yeah. Bop, yeah. Bop, bop, okay. bop, bop, bop. Just making sure um, I'm saying it right. The one thing that you guys, because I see it all the time where we are, one thing to look out for with Levi's are the trucker vests. So the denim, oh, yeah. denim trucker vests, we've got like upwards of $70 sometimes for those things. Um, the bigger sizes sell better for us on eBay. Uh, but yeah, they're they're absolutely awesome. Kind of cute one at Goodwill. They wanted $15 for it. Crap. 15 bucks at goodwill some yeah. of them are some of them would be worth it even to pay 15 dollars. this one was a little one it was uh, like an okay. extra small females one i saw a good question come in from moose fort trading post should we expect a big slump after fourth quarter so the answer to that is it depends what you're selling right it depends what you're selling and where you're selling your product if you are for example heavily in toys on amazon you're going to have a slump after the fourth quarter because you're going to be selling a ton of toys or games or whatever on Amazon. Right. And then as soon as the holiday season's over, absolutely th that type of product doesn't sell as much. Um, but what I always tell people is, see, we do not have a slump after fourth quarter. And the reason why we don't is because we, we transition and we start listing a more diverse array of products mm -hmm. as we go into, um, into January, February, right? So. Nick keeps saying we're out of focus. I don't know. No, I think it's your internet because it looks in focus to us. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. See, Katie and Vicky, January is usually a great month for both Vicky and me. I agree. Yeah. We, we do very well in January. January um, is like probably our third or fourth best month. Usually just like everybody else who's a reseller, we typically crush it in the fourth, in the fourth quarter. Um, but we definitely, we do okay in the next year. The one thing that I will say, if you've never been through a fourth quarter before as a reseller, make sure that you're ready to get returns mm -hmm. because you will get more returns because a lot of yeah. people are buying stuff as presents. January, February. Right. You're going to get returns. Um, and with eBay, if you're doing free returns, expect your return people. rate to go up. So I'm going to turn the lights down. Behind well, us. There's other people saying it's just fine too. Yeah, it's fine. It's like 50-50. There. I turn the lights down behind us. I don't think that helps. Turn the lights, <laughs> turn the lights down. Um, is Allie married? She is hot. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is she? <laughs> I don't know. People get our oh names God. confused. I think that's probably what it was. <laughs> um, yes, our names are very similar. Yeah. This question keeps popping up. Global shipping or ship yourself? Uh, I mean, that's kind of up to it's you. A preference. Yeah. So we know people who do only like only international shipping themselves. Mm -hmm. We know people who um, do only global shipping. We know people who do both. Um, I know that Katie, maybe I know that Katie and Vicky, um, I believe do both and they make, they make more of their sales through, um, oh my God through international shipping, not through global shipping program. And then our model, for example, we only do global shipping program because we had both on. And when we switched off doing outside of global shipping program, our sales stay the same. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense for us to offer both when global shipping is easier for us. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I think the lights, Deb. the lights higher was better. Okay. It's like grainy back there now. It's losing focus now. Yeah, that's much better. Um, and then we have a $5 super chat. Do you recommend bulk buys for beginners and where can we buy in bulk? No, bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, I would say you're ready to buy in bulk. I would say when you have $5,000 to play with. And when I say play with, you're not using that money for your bills. So I'm talking like extra cash in the bank. That's when I would say start going to like auctions. Um, you can look on places like auctionsup.com and uh, start looking for like liquidation companies and start buying bulk that way before you decide to like 
go to a wholesale company or a distributor or something like that. Cause I'm talking like $5,000. I would say you can start buying in bulk, doing um, liquidation and auctions. If you want to get into actual legitimate wholesale or just working with the distributor, we're talking like 20 grand sometimes is what you have to do per order. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So look, Katie and Vicky said we do 20% uh, of my sales this last year were international. That's crazy. Yeah. Or Katie said that. That's well, amazing. Katie has a lot of amazing streetwear and they'll go to Japan. overseas. People True. pay up for that. True. Yeah. Because if they were to buy it in country, they're going to pay crazy money if they can right. even find it. So their option is absolutely like basically eBay. I don't even know if Poshmark does overseas. I don't either. Or like we Depop don't do Poshmark. <laughs> and all of those. Yeah. Uh, they I definitely do. Uh, Speaking of actually speaking of stuff selling overseas, the next item that we're going to do for the giveaway, oh, I know which one. You know which one that was? It sold overseas. Uh, it sold to Denmark, which is very so very interesting. So it sold to Denmark through the Global Shipping Program. And what are we at? 524 people watching. Ooh. If we can get up to 250 thumbs ups, then we'll do another giveaway. Um, and we'll do that item. So that's oh, that'll be real quick. fast and easy. Everybody hit the thumbs up button. Let's get it to 250, uh, and then we'll do another giveaway. Yeah, we're only 30 away. Go, 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 go! Thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Sing a song. Question: about the thumbs up. Do you cross list same item on eBay and Amazon? Have you ever been caught out by doing that? So no, we don't. Uh, we don't do that. We only do Amazon FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you actually physically have to send the item in to an Amazon warehouse. So we don't have the item on hand anymore to be able to cross post like that. Um, but no, we don't like to do, we don't like to cross post. It doesn't work. We really couldn't keep up with it, but if we had a lot less items, it would be much easier to cross post. Like yeah. if you only have 10 things, you can cross post for sure, but sure. not if you have a thousand things. <laughs> Makes it much harder for sure. <laughs> We've reached the number. All right, here we go. We got it. Here we go. I'll explain the rules one more time. Um, I'm going to read the title of an item that we sold on eBay. These are all sales that we've had in the last week. And you're going to guess what the item sold for to the nearest dollar. So if it sold for $99.99, you would put $100 in the chat. The first person to get it, let's give away a beanie. How about a that? Beanie. Let's give away a beanie. Because it's cold Because it's cold. Look, Arr. I actually have a hoodie on. Me too. <laughs> I have sleeves. So we'll give away a Rally Roots beanie. These are very, very limited. Um, I think we only have like... 10 or 15 of these left at all anyway. And they're not even for sale on the website. So Rally Roots Beanie, it's got the leather fist bump on the bottom. It's really cool. I hey, like this. Competition. Really competition. Kristen says she loves me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got $2 from Pirate Sprayer. Just sold a $4 Disney bag for $120. What? Oh my gosh. Can you like That's tag cool. us in a picture of the item? Yeah, I want to see I that. I would love to know you what bag it just sold. Pirate Sprayer. And I read it as Pirate's prayer oh. which one is it i think it's pirate's, pirate's prayer. prayer oops pirate's all right guys prayer. i don't know <laughs> oh my god what do you think they're spraying pirate people are guessing prayer. already the guys whole dollar amounts no no points no cents um and only after callie says go and yeah. this is for this is for a beanie all right here we go the title is orvis Men's vintage extra large fly fishing vest, army green utility, multiple <laughs> multiple zip pockets. This thing had so many zip pockets, it was crazy. Go. There is the item right there. Put in your best guesses. And again, this one sold international, which is pretty cool. Okay. And we are gonna do our best to look, guys. Some close ones. Here's Callie saying go. There's we have the answer. All right, stop. <laughs> Someone got it that fast. All right, I'm looking now as well. I'm gonna see if we like get the same person, Kelly. I got okay. Oh no, there's another one. Okay. We're going up. Let's look. Let's look. Somebody got it. All right. Ooh, lots of close people again. Jeez. Crazy how close. All right, I have this person, Kelly. Nice. He's always in the chat. I'm so yeah. glad he won. Is that he won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, guys. We have a winner. The winner is Thomas Wilkinson. Come on down. You're what a baby. You're Thomas has been with us since like almost the beginning, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Um, and the answer, guys, was $55. $55 was the answer. 
really cool sale on that. I'm glad that it's going to someone who like really wanted it. It was a cool vintage item. We were trying to like, when I found it, I was like, how many pockets does this thing actually have? I counted one side of the vest and it was like 26 pockets just oh on the, my God, just on the no one. Way. I swear. No, I swear. that's insane. Um, and we found that- Are there pockets and pockets and pockets? Yeah, everywhere. Like pocket inception? In, yeah, for sure. No. So many guns. We found, uh, we we found that- Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I found that at Goodwill for um, $7, I think is what I paid for it, so. All right. Uh, we got all our admins in the chat today. We got Deb in the chat. Callie's here. Steph's here. Ben's here. Thank you, all our wonderful admins, Thank for you guys so much. keeping the chat neat and clean and tidy. They do most of the work now. Whoa! Ooh. Someone sold that same vest for ninety dollars. Nah, -uh, really? That's crazy. It had a total of inside and outside twenty-four pockets. Well, this wasn't the same vest then, because it had this one that we had definitely had more than twenty-four pockets. <laughs> um, that's awesome though that you sold it for that much. I sold Adidas snow boots from Burlington for $185 to Iceland. Wow. Iceland. You know, you know what's funny about that? That's probably the cheapest pair of boots in Iceland. <laughs> I mean, those boots that I got were like 60. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm, be I'm being funny cheap. because Iceland is like ridiculously Insane expensive. Insane expensive. Yeah. When we, when we went over there, Allison's luggage got lost and we had to go buy our boots. Um, and it was like crazy expensive. We're like, it'll be fine. We'll just go and get you new clothes and stuff. Boots were insane insane yeah insane. they have fur boots with the fur yeah but did they have fur they did they had like yeah that faux fuzzy oh so you did get them all right not um, real fur. thomas like wilkinson cousin. says he's about three miles from your office weird oh <laughs> that's right How i remember you know? saying awesome. he lived close to us do you want to come by and get the 20 dollars cash instead of paypal I could do that instead was a polo sweater thrifted? Or was it a beanie? It was not thrifted. Did he win the beanie or the money? Oh yeah, he won the beanie. Well, you can come come by and get the beanie then. Save us, save us on shipping. <laughs> no, I I paid for the polo sweater. Um, <laughs> my brother Benjamin's his girlfriend works for Polo, and she hooked me up with the sweater. So yeah. Oh, he wants Ben wants to know if we can can't live stream with the new camera. This is the new camera. Are you talking about? Oh, with I the do. 4K camera? I no. If I wear beanies like this. It's pretty cool. No, I'm still like trying to work out the new um, the new cameras and stuff. You know what I want to do when it gets really cold? What? I want to do 30 days Some of sweaters. Water. 30 days of sweaters. Because I literally have more than 30 sweaters. Mm. So every day I want to wear a different sweater. Do you have That'd a hoarding cool. problem? That's do I have a, sweater? These okay, I did not buy any of these. These were all given to me. <laughs> They're all like oh, cool well, vintage good. sweaters. They're too. crazy vintage. My we hair. got a <laughs> seven dollar and seventy seven cent, my favorite number, super chat from Dizzy Angie. You guys helped me get started as a part time reseller in April to help cover my daughter's medical expenses. I just started my own YouTube channel too. Cool. That's nice. amazing. We will absolutely go check you out. And um, congrats on being successful and paying for your um, daughter's medical bills. That's cool. That's a good, That's amazing good reason that to start. You, like actually did that. You yeah. know, so many people they'll wallow in their, you know, sadness, but you went out there and you killed yeah. it. Ryan got me these today. I did. Aren't those cool? They're the Publix uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus. David Browning says, I've been watching some of your older videos, and even back then, you were, where wisdom is concerned, you're full of it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. I need to go back and like watch some of our older videos. I know. And I see how, see how, travel videos. how cringy the older ones are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, we are cheesy and we are silly, but that's because yeah. we're, we, we're not serious people by nature anyways, and we're always like goofing off and – we're just pulling around, yeah, yeah. We're just that's just who we are. Yeah. So I'm yeah. pretty serious most of the time. Yeah. Callie's never serious. Um, a friend of mine asked if someone is in Canada, can they have an eBay store on eBay.com? What are the rules around that? As far as I know, with the ca uh, Canadian people that we've worked with, because um, we've worked with quite a few Canadian people and Australian people and um, people in the UK, I've worked with in our mentoring program. Um, as far as I know, yes, you can. So as far as I know. Does Allie play with Barbies? Just the Barbie of herself. Uh, when I was a kid, I loved Barbies because my mom like raised me with Barbies as my toy, but I always took care of my Barbies. Now she paints awesome. them with blood. Yeah, then blood. I Halloween-ified a bunch of Barbies. Yeah. <laughs> what are we at? We have 552 people watching right now. 
Um, let's do this. We're on the we're at 280 thumbs ups. Let's do the next giveaway at 350. Make it oh. harder. Make you make okay. you have to hit the okay. thumbs up. Yeah, because we're giving away like cash money. Yeah. I think it's fair that we're making it a little harder. Yeah. So we'll do we'll do 350. Um, we'll give away 20 bucks. James says, "Why are you wearing a Maker Studio sweatshirt?" How you know what it is? <laughs> I bought it a long time oh. ago. My watch is frozen. Ah, there we go. All right. What What are your questions? What are your thoughts on drop shipping? Not a fan. Not a fan at all, actually. So I've seen. I've only met like like one or two people that have done it successfully in the in a good way without like being scammy with it um but most of the time i would have to say don't get involved in drop shipping that's why we don't really talk about it on our channel because i don't think it's legit too legit yeah. to quit yeah crystal says so glad i could watch live <laughs> got called gangsta gangsta Welcome, gangster at the top of my list which made me think of that song did the dogs have halloween costumes mochi has a shark one and she shark. hates it. Like, shark do, do, hates it. Mr. Lichi has a little Mommy, shark, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Question, do you ever buy at auctions? Yeah, all the time. So auctions is, is yeah, the way it. that we like started buying in bulk, if you will. Um, when we first started, we didn't know where to go. So we started going to auctions. And we actually, people have asked us, like, did we ever buy storage units? Um, that's what we, like, we used to do that back, way back in the day uh, when we didn't really have, like, relationships with people to get product that we want we would go and buy storage units um I, I don't think it's a bad way to start just realize that doing that is a ton of work it's a ton of work um and usually you'll like maybe double your money double to triple your money so expect that unless you get like, a unit for like 10 bucks and it's worth a whole bunch but it's not like storage wars <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love that. Sylvia Adams thank you so much for sending us ten dollars oh, we you. appreciate tips it tips for tips thanks yeah. Ooh, two polar bear vintage pillows. That's really cool. That's awesome. I hope they sell. Nice find, Ross. Why would I say drop shipping is not legit? It's essentially the same. It's definitely not the same thing that we're doing. Um, most like most, I'm I'm not gonna get too much into it, <laughs> but most like drop shipping people, they'll they'll make you pay like hundreds of dollars for a list of suppliers. They're selling the same list to thousands of other people, and they're you're just buying the same generic products, and the price is getting driven down. It's not legit. Uh, did any of those storage units have a safe at the very back with gold inside? Yeah, huh. every one of the all ones of that we always. bought. <laughs> yes. Gold coins, diamonds, it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, we did really well with, there was one they had nice couches in and we just flipped them locally mm -hmm. on Facebook, garage sale group. And yeah. it worked really well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that doing storage units and stuff, for, like Ali said, for furniture, if you're awesome. if you're good at like refinishing furniture and stuff, um, it's great. For yeah, that. but you really have to be like on it with the apps, you know, like Letgo and OfferUp and mm -hmm. the Facebook garage sale group. Otherwise, you should not be selling large things locally. Right. If you're not going to be active on all those. Um, simply, Lynn, don't leave yet. I just saw you saying none of your questions are being answered. There's 538 people watching, and uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's, oh, we just saw your question now, so sorry. My message did not come up with my tip. I sold a Funai, Funai, I've never heard of that brand before. VCR for $300 and I owe it to oh you because gosh. you tipped me off about VCRs. That's, that's awesome. Amazing. That's so cool. Tips for tips, like that's legit. <laughs> I'm assuming it was probably like, maybe like a VCR recorder, not just a VCR, like a VCR to DVD recorder. Those are the ones that are worth the most probably. money. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, definitely look out for VCRs, guys. Benny, $5 super chat. Hi from Orlando. I hope to meet you guys sometimes, learning so much from you guys, and hope to snag a spot in your mentorship. Oh, awesome. Nice. Very cool. Our next round of mentoring is coming up fast. Whoa. Yeah. I think we're going to start at December 1st. I think probably what we're going to do with that one is start at December 1st, yes. take, a, take a week off for Christmas, and then extend it a week um, past uh into, into like february you know so it'll be like december january and a week of february something like that got two dollar louis vuitton and sold it for 110 dollars awesome louis louis we're at 327 thumbs up so we got to get to 350 and then we'll do a 20 dollar cash giveaway 
All right. More questions. And Lori had an emu egg incubator in a storage what? unit. Sold it for 250. What? What do you Who makes emu egg incubators? What? That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I guess like there is there's ostrich and emu farms, right? So I guess they would need that. We ate an ostrich so. egg in Australia. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was like a delicious egg. It yeah. just was, it tasted like an egg. Egg it, is an egg. It literally took up, like, um, we scrambled it, and it took up a bowl like that big. It was about equivalent to 14 eggs. Yeah, and it was delicious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was so good. Wow. It was like $10 for the one egg, right? Something like that. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and Australia is more expensive, so even, like, a dozen eggs over there is two right. to three times the price they are here. Right. Yeah. Um. Uh, are VHS tapes good for selling items? Yeah, we sell a lot of like blank VHS tapes on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, ones. Yeah. What are your costumes for Halloween this year? Amber says you can send oh. us two dollars. Thanks, Amber. Thank you, Amber. We actually just I was went poison to poison ivy. Yeah, Allie did poison ivy, and she won the costume contest. I did. <laughs> I won the costume contest. It was really good. We went to a, a friend's Halloween party um, this past weekend. I did my Goku one from the one that I go to the cos when I cosplay at uh, Comic Con. And then Allie did a poison ivy, which is really good. Yeah. And if the Lyft driver that brought our friends to the party is in the chat, hey. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, any tips for buying wholesale from China? Uh, just make sure that there's a lot of good reviews. Yeah. And you're yeah. under the trade assurance program if you use Alibaba. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I would say probably don't. Um, I wouldn't be buying generic right now. I would try to actually build a brand. So like do a private label. Mm -hmm. find products that you can maybe tweak a little bit um, that they maybe won't sell to other uh, buyers and then try to like build an actual brand on Amazon. I think that is the next stage of Amazon. This like buying generic products from China and flipping them quickly online. I don't really think that's going to last much longer. You're going to have to start like actually building a company. Right. Cause I know um, the warehouses in China are now doing FBA on Amazon. So you have to compete with them, like you're paying. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna see quite a drop. They're okay. cutting out the middleman. Pirates Prayer slash Pirate Sprayer sends us the picture of the <laughs> Disney bag flip. <laughs> oh my gosh! Awesome. Okay, I'm really excited to see it after yes. the show. We're gonna look at that. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Um, bought a Loomis art book, two dollars and eighty-eight cents, including tax. Sold it locally online for three hundred dollars. Very oh. cool. I love that when that we get those digital drawing on is that type books. Oh, maybe. Or not. In the um, house of mini tricks, right? Mini mini trucks. The house of mini trucks. Sorry, I saw them in the last chat. Best platform for vintage sci-fi books. Got a deal at a yard sale. I that's cool. I would try to sell as many together at a time. Yeah. But check comps because one might be rare and might pay for them all. Mm. Can we but go to the cons books sometime? are not as not easy really. to move as. People make you believe. Yeah, yeah. I would try. I would listen locally. Actually, mm -hmm. sell them. Try to sell them on like um, Craigslist or OfferUp or Letgo. Maybe there's like a collector in your area that yeah. want to pick them up. But Ali's right. I would probably list them in a set. Yeah. Mark has or, a question. Who has a question? Mark Corbett. Hi, Mark. When would you pull the trigger and buy more than one of a product to sell on Amazon? My fear don't want to be stuck with a lot yeah. of one product. Yeah. The, the cool thing about Amazon is is you can buy based on the sales rank. So you, you can pretty much tell how many of an item um, is currently selling mm -hmm. uh, based on the sales rank that item is. Um, there's two, there's two uh, tools that we use. One is called Keepa, um, and the other one is a website called Camel Camel Camel. Keepa is a plugin for like Google Chrome that'll tell you like what the, the price of the item is selling for. Um, and then Camel 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 will kind of give you an idea of how much or how many times that item is selling. We're six away from the, the giveaway, guys. Oh, so nice. six more thumbs up. Um, but I would say, like, like for us, for example, with Amazon, we don't do a whole ton of Amazon. But when we do, when we're buying multiple items for Amazon, uh, we're looking for sales ranks for us, like under fifty thousand, typically. And obviously, that depends on the category. Like, if it's books yeah. or something, it can be a lot more. Um, but for us, we like we like stuff under fifty k because it sells fast. We don't typically do books, and then when we do do books, <laughs> do you do. It's textbooks. Textbooks, yeah. Yep. I almost spit out my water, Allie. Uh, <laughs> Pat Norman says, Peter Peter Millar is still selling for you. Absolutely. Yeah, we sell a ton of it. I think you shipped out one today, right? I think so. Oh, that's yeah. so funny. 
Perfect question. Yeah, the ones that sell, the Peter Millar that sells best for us is called Summer Comfort, still selling well. Um, so try, look for long sleeves now. Um, I would stay, I mean, I would still buy the polos, but try to find long sleeves because those are selling better um, as it's a little bit cooler now. And then Leroy asked if they should promote their listings. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Play so around with it. Do asked, what was our biggest flip? Profit margin wise? Was that uh, from a garage sale? Was the Chanel purse, right? Yeah, it depends on um, it depends on what you're asking. Like single item flip, profit margin flip, wholesale flip. I'm gonna answer the single item flip, and it was the Chanel purse from the garage sale. Okay, that was like a five dollar into what five hundred, six hundred bucks. Yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah, That's crazy. And then our biggest like wholesale flip is um, I drove an hour away, um, bought a whole bunch of stuff for seventy five hundred dollars. I think is what I paid. Filled up my car. And then on the way back, it was an hour drive. On the way back home, I sold it all for like fourteen thousand seven hundred. Remember that? That was a crazy day. Yeah, we we ate sushi the next day <laughs> to celebrate. Um, how are vibration. how are Pendleton sweaters selling? Very well. Yeah, Pendleton sells um, all the time. What I will say is, I actually found a Pendleton item that I passed on today. It's rare that we pass on Pendleton stuff, um, but the the item that I passed on today was a a blazer. It was like a red um, wool blazer. It just like the comps on it were only fifteen dollars, which was really. Oh yeah, wool blazers. The comps are always terrible. Anytime we ever find yeah. a wool blazer. Yeah. Oh, we, we did it. We got did enough it. thumbs we up. We did it. Give All away. right, giveaway time. So this will be for twenty dollars cash. Cash money in the bank, shorty. What you drink? <laughs> and again, one more time, guys. I'm going to read you the title of an item that we sold recently on eBay. And you are going to guess how much it sold for to the nearest whole dollar. So if it sold for $129.99, you would type in $130. So everybody save your questions until after the guessing is done. Yes. Um, and then as soon as Callie types go is when you guys start guessing. And when we say stop, please stop. Please. <laughs> Brad right. loves us. Here we go. Timberland Pro Men Size 13 W Direct Attach. Attach, yeah. Mm -hmm. Six inch, inch soft toe boots, waterproof leather, and they look like this. Yeah. There's the item. Nice picture. Thanks. Did you take that or Ben? Uh, ben, ben take that. Ben did it. Ben, nice ben picture, did Ben. Right. Love Let's ben. see the cross. Okay. Did anybody get oh, it? Yet? I think oh, I just saw my it. My goodness. I think I just saw it. Oh no way! Let's make sure that's right. Hold on. Here's look. Here's oh, you're guy. right. Okay. That was. Super quick. The winner is leg ninety three again. I think this is like the third time that you've won. Wow! I, uh, and even last week you were second to get it, and I felt bad, and we sent you ten dollars last week. So I think I already have your PayPal email address. <laughs> Are you That's looking awesome, at our though. sales? That's so good. Every day. Well, you can't. Studying? You can't see our sales. They're hidden. They're hidden. Yeah. Okay. I was like, did you figure out how to? That's so funny. Done. That's Good amazing. job. Good job. Good job, leg 83. Did we say how much it was? It was $79. $79. Here, just so that you guys can see that we're not lying. $79. Lychee's making sounds for. in the background. Whoa. 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 Lychee made the lights do that oh. in the background. There, there it goes. goes. Where's Lychee? Oh, she's in the cage. Just lay All right, guys. So we have uh, 18 minutes left for the rest of the show. Let's just answer you guys' questions. Whatever questions you have, let's go. We still have 573 people watching, which is pretty wow. cool. Um, and by the way, guys, if you're new to watching the chat, this is something that we do every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you didn't win this time, come back next week and uh, we'll do it again. Oh, we got blurry again. We did. Weird. Ah. Sit back. There he is. I think it's like people were saying the we stuff were on the counter. Forward it's because we now were all leaning that. Yeah. <laughs> ben says staged giveaways, fake giveaways. Yeah, leg <laughs> leg is actually lychee. <laughs> yes. Oh my um, gosh, she wishes she had twenty bucks to buy food with. Mr. Mark says, "How many hours a week do you work on average?" Ooh, forty. Yeah, Kelly works about forty hours. She's she's definitely full time. Sometimes more. Sometimes, Sometimes she puts in extra work. I do. I do do that. Yeah. Do do. I probably work like, I don't know, 80. It depends what you consider work. I feel like you're not ever not working. Ryan's yeah. always working. Yeah. Because, you know, you've got your phone and you're answering questions about items. Right. Even if we're, offers. Yep. But Even I, if we're watching a show together, if Ryan gets something, he checks it. 
I, I mean, I will like try to not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be better about like that. When you're at the movies. Yeah. But yeah, we work a lot, but we like we yeah. love what we do, so it makes it easier. Yeah, when we're at the movies, you don't take out your phone. No. You did once, and I was like, put that away <laughs> now. <laughs> um, Haley says, when you guys sell car stereos with the money back guarantee, do you just write that in the description? Yeah. Yeah, we just say, um, if it doesn't work, obviously, we'll give you your money back. It's almost, I mean, it's kind of like a trust thing, because we don't test the car radios, but I would say maybe like, maybe like one in 20 we'll have to just refund and we don't take them back. We just refund them. And I saw Michael ask this question a couple of times, starter books, FBA a month ago, building it slowly, looking for a next thing for eBay. Sometimes I can master before adding something I can master before adding the next item. What do you suggest eventually want to wholesale? I would suggest garage sales. If you want to start selling stuff on eBay, cause it has yeah. a, like the hardest, the hardest, highest ROI. Yeah. And if you know, I would say start with what you know. So like if you know electronics, start with electronics. I was gonna say electronics know. as well. Yeah. Electronics, video games, video consoles, that kind of stuff. And now that it's winter, maybe look look at the jackets and see what's high end. Jackets but only are good. start in jackets, you know, yeah. don't do too much to begin with. More so more so with eBay, if you're just like kind of getting started with eBay, I would say focus on not so much like the item or trying to find a specific item, try to focus on the dollar amount. Uh, so try to only sell yeah. stuff that you could sell for like 50 bucks plus don't like don't go for items that are only 15 20 bucks look yeah. for stuff that you can actually make money on yeah you're not going to have a good buyer either usually yeah. for 15 dollars items right. when we have a problem with an item it's always under 20 dollars. Yeah. so that's yeah. why we stopped never selling thought about items that. That. that is true it is so true. true oh my gosh it's crazy that's every business i've ever been involved in the cheaper items always are. Yeah. Did you see Doodle Noodle said y'all are adorable? Oh, That's such a cool name. Doodle Noodle. Doodle Noodle. Doodle Noodle. Uh, and they asked if we like Poshmark. We don't use Poshmark, but we, we know other people that do and they love it. So especially for shoes, it's a flat shipping rate. I would say if you're starting eBay and Poshmark at the same time, maybe put your clothes on eBay and shoes on Poshmark. Right. You know, try it out. Um, what did I, I saw some, oh yeah, I don't want to rent a PO box, but I'm concerned about my home address floating around everywhere. Should I be concerned? Depends on what you're doing. Um, I wouldn't really be concerned like for us, for example, because we're on YouTube, uh, we don't put our home address on any of our eBay stuff. We use a, what's called a post mail box, which is an actual physical address that you can get from the UPS store. Um, we pay something like $200 a year for that address. Um, but we also use it as like fan mail and for wholesale orders and stuff like that. If someone's not at our warehouse, they can actually receive our wholesale stuff for us. Um, but I mean, if it's just you by yourself, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. You know? Yeah. Jeremy asked this earlier too. Um, when customers can pay on eBay, do you foresee any issues versus PayPal? Yeah. Will PayPal still be available? As far as I know from the people that we've talked to at eBay, as far as I know, PayPal will still be available for like three or four years. And then after that, yeah, they time. might, they might like sever ties completely with them. Um, but I, I honestly, I think it's going to be better. I, I, I really too. think it's going to be better after what's happened to us. Yeah. We've had horrible issues with PayPal recently. And, um, I just think that eBay taking it in house is just going to be, it's going to make it easier because you're calling one place instead of having to deal with, you know, we've also heard people like PayPal has different um, has different return policies than eBay. So like if your return policy is 30 days on eBay, but for some reason PayPal is offering six months to the customer, they can still go to PayPal and open up a case against you as well. Yeah. So, and a fake case too. Yeah. We've had fake cases opened up against us, but thank God we did signature confirmation on right. those. Yeah. And uh, leg 93. <laughs> thanks for all the help and oh. knowledge. Five bucks back to us. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, you're too kind. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, PayPal has been weird lately. Yeah. Weird. The eBay representative we spoke to said that they've been having some more issues with PayPal. And we asked right. if they thought because of the separation, they're like, I never even thought of that. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why. Yeah. Um, Mark, good question. Did you look into modular building rather than site build for your land? Yeah, we've, we're, we have all options on the table right now. The building itself is not the issue. The building itself is not is not a problem at all. It's everything that's goes around getting approval to build. 
permitting so process permitting, through the city yeah, is the problem. Environmental right impact fees. Um, we even might have to put a fire hydrant in. So there's, there, it's almost like it, it might be six figures before we can even start building. That's what the issue is with the land. Yeah, like bringing the area up to code. So if there's not a yeah. fire hydrant within X amount of feet of our building, because that area isn't built up and it's definitely, it's an old area, we are responsible for putting that fire right. hydrant in for everybody. Right. And it's $15,000 just for that one thing. That's just one of, could be a hundred things that we yeah. have to do. So that's what we're dealing with now. Zoning, yep, there you go. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. So Ben asked a question and then someone said great question or Deb said great question to bring up as well. Should current eBay users download Adya now or wait till eBay rolls it out? I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea to have it, but, um, eBay has already currently rolled it out to a few sellers where you can switch. I've heard both sides of the story right now from sellers that have switched. Some people are saying it's great. Um, some people are saying that as soon as they switch, their sales have like been cut in half. So right now personally i would say don't switch yet like don't if you get that email from ebay i would say don't take on their payment system yet stick with paypal until they can like work the kinks out of agen and then and then i would say switch as soon as it's ready we'll let you guys know and we'll also be switching as well because i'm done with paypal too so. yeah and then nate asks what items do we usually stay away from we usually stay away from items that only have a value of Nineteen dollars or less. Yeah, <laughs> that's typically what we stay away from. <sighs> or they're it's not they're expensive to ship, you know. And they just don't make enough. Oh, is Leechy making sounds? No, no, she's good. Oh, it's time. Except these because just, they were so cute. I just saw someone ask, "Do we sell Keen? Do we sell Keen uh, shoes?" Yeah, tiny. Isn't that funny? Well, they're not like tiny, tiny, but they're little. We bought these today at a thrift store. I could they were wear those. They were only three dollars. My feet little aren't shoes. That little. Yeah, we usually don't buy kids shoes, um, but these will these flip really fast. And yes, we definitely yeah. buy keen shoes. The adult ones sell a lot for a lot more than the kids ones. But. Yeah, and we also stay away from kids. Stuff. Ship those in padded flat rates. Yeah, and those will be first class, which is even better. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of good questions coming in. Where do we want to start? Guys, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Dance goes <sighs> are awesome to sell. Wait, it says a lot of people are talking about Target right now. So Target? Target is aggressively kicking yes, out are. resellers. Yes, they are. It's going to affect you all. Yeah, we don't really? do much retail arbitrage from Target. Whoa. Um, but they deny customers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, not just not just in the store. They are cracking down online as well. Wait, how? you can't buy in bulk. Limiting are orders. You, oh, blocking, they can limit orders. Blocking IP addresses. Oh, wow. Canceling emails. Like they do not want Why? resellers in their stores. They just don't. I wonder if they've had complaints from people. Probably. I mean, it makes sense because there is resellers I know that go into a Target and like clear out all of their inventory and then send it to Amazon. So. Wait, but. We are what. But then Target's still making the sale. Yeah, they are. But they don't. I think they don't want to be like associated with scalping. I guess so. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Or maybe huh. maybe it's not Target. Maybe it's the brand saying you guys need to cut down. Oh, maybe they have stipulations with Target getting the licensing, like the Harry Potter socks. Yeah. Maybe it's something like that. Well, Paul sent us five dollars. Says I think <laughs> you. I think you should buy agricultural zone land and call it Alley's Unicorn Sanctuary. <gasps> Oh with the God. big barn for your warehouse. It's I a good idea. I love that. If you know of any farmland we can buy, Paul, let us know. For cheap. That would be amazing. Uh, ben says Target is so petty. It's just a fancy Walmart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So true. That's so funny. Target's aggressively competing with Amazon right now. Also, yeah. if you buy stuff on Walmart.com, it comes to your house within two days. I buy multiple things on Walmart's website and it comes to the house within like two days. Oh, yeah. Like the Dragon Ball Z shirts that we couldn't find in stores. I just went That's online right. and just bought them. Um, right. It was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Go online, Chris guys. Christina says, is there a way to remove negative feedback? I have only one negative. eBay ruled in my favor when I opened a case, but review is still there. Um, yeah, so if if that's a case that's closed in your favor, call eBay and they will take that feedback away. Yeah. They will remove it. Um, even if they even if they hadn't have closed the case in your favor, the other way to do it is to um, fix the problem with the buyer and then send them what's called a feedback revision request. Just Google feedback revision request and it'll walk you through how to do it. Or you can just type in 
um, on YouTube, type in Rally Roots uh, eBay feedback revision or negative feedback or something like that. Because um, we have a few videos showing you guys how to do that if you want to. Is it puppy time? Do we have oh, videos showing how to make pictures look good? I thought we did. We have a bunch of them. Just type yeah. in Rally Roots Photography. Yeah. <laughs> We're like help. a search engine. Um, we do buy Supreme stuff to flip every once in a while. It's hard to get, though. It's what, very hard to get. When are we going to have a baby? Never. But we'll we show you. We have two puppies. We'll show you our children our right now. Our fur babies. It's dog time. Fur babies. Thank you, Adrian. Fur babies are enough. Urgh. Is neutral feedback worth removing? Not really. No. No, it's not really worth it. Unless it's like something bad. Unless, yeah, unless it's like a blatant lie, you know, you call and eBay will fix it for you, then it's worth it. But Look, this one got a haircut. It's Aww. lying. Oh my God. I swear. Oh, Christina Lapa with the $2 super chat. Hey, Lee G. Thanks for the all camera. the help. Thanks for the tips for tips. If there was food next to the camera, she would look at it. But she just wants to give me kisses. Thank you. Red rum. Hello. Red rum. <laughs> Sorry. I was watching that while I was carving my pumpkin. We had it on time. Too. Oh. Puppy party. We got the puppy oh. Hey, Momo. <laughs> Dog Toys R Us went out of business because kids nowadays don't care about Legos. They want iPads and iPods. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh Toys, Toys R Us apparently is coming back, though. The brand is uh, being revitalized. Like they've done that a couple of times. Lychee's a Pomeranian. Yeah, to a Toys R Us didn't go out of business because of resellers. Toys R Us went out of business because their prices were stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Like, even when they were going out of business at, like, 70% off the retail price, it was still cheaper to buy it online. That's why yeah. Toys R Us went out of business. They went out of business because they were blockbuster. They were greedy. Yeah. Yep. Assured Capital Funding has asked this a couple times, I think. If yeah. you print out your labels after shipping prep, how do you organize to keep from putting wrong labels on packages? Good I don't, question. That's a good Cali question because you do that every single day, like literally. Every well, day. I do use the bulk shipping tool, and then I literally oh, lay it all out in order and then i take a picture of it on the screen because after you submit it and pay for the labels that <laughs> screen's gone so it doesn't keep yeah. the order so i just Do make sure when the labels print out it's all lined up right so callie's saying work. that it prints out in the same order right that it yes my words propagates on the bulk propagates. shipping when you click on bulk shipping, when it propagates, that order that it's in, if you lay your items out in that order, the labels print in that order. Right. Yeah. Cool. And you just I don't think a lot of people out. know that. No. That's a like, really good thing to know. Isn't that, in, that might be in one of the Rally Roots videos or one of mine. Hmm. I think I did a bulk shipping behind the scenes <laughs> Rally Roots video. Hey, Bingo's A, shout out to Sears. Ryan used to work at the jewelry right. department. I did, did. yeah. Nice. It was funny. I was the first guy to work at the jewelry <laughs> department in like five years at the Sears, and I crushed it there. <laughs> I crushed Why? it. Oh it was, I, was, I was honestly making pretty decent money. Um, it was like right when I got out of high school, I started working at the jewelry department, and I got paid um, like $10 an hour plus commission, like 5% commission, and I was making like 20 bucks an hour. Dang. That's amazing. Because <laughs> I was selling uh, like engagement started. rings and stuff. And jewelry sales. I actually see a really good question. Alan says that everything around him is cheap and it's difficult <sighs> to find items that will sell for at least $50. I mean, even if you can get your sales average sales price up to $30, that's great. But if you're getting the items cheap enough, lot them together. Yeah. So like, let's say you can get three shirts for a dollar each. You're in it for $3. Those shirts alone only sell for ten dollars, but three together sells for thirty dollars. Lot them together. Maybe that helps. It's a good. It's a good idea. That's one idea. Because <laughs> you're right. Usually, and if you're in an area where the stuff where you don't have a lot of expensive stuff, you're right. Usually, the prices are cheaper. Yep. Like our area, we have good stuff, but the prices are really expensive. Yeah. Let me give a yeah. shout out to Jenny's Everything for sending us two dollars. Thank you, Jenny. And uh, what is? Cat in box, cat in box gift ideas for sending us two dollars. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And we have two minutes left, guys. One minute cool. left to cool. hang out with you guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this show. Have you guys? Have you guys had a good time? 
let's take the, the next like minute or so type in wow. the chat um some of your guys's favorite flips this past week or your and favorite then Jason, kind of candy to well, answer that, candy. our area restocks daily, so we could go in literally every other day, every every day, yeah, and find stuff. <laughs> D backs champ says, "I'm investing all my money in cat T-shirts. I feel like they're <laughs> gonna." <laughs> I think that is a That's, great idea. I do too. Yeah. Honestly, I would like to purchase them. Cats are in. Are they have? Are they not uh, blowing up already? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, cat shirts are great. Yeah. Yeah. I have like three cat shirts. Me too. I don't think cat shirts will ever not be cool. No, they're awesome. Because someone's always gonna love cats and think it's funny. Yeah. It's not gonna stop being funny. Girl <laughs> <sighs> lollipops. Anything good? Ooh, these are uh, these peanut butter cups. Mm, I love Reese's peanut butter cups. One of my favorite candies. Fifteen dollar typewriter sold for one hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, I saw that. Very that good. was amazing. Nice. Uh, Butterfinger. That's one of my favorites, Lauren. Lolo. Vin vintage Richard Petty cap paid a dollar sold for a hundred within twenty minutes. Very cool. That's incredible. Uh, Bulk. Leechy's just chilling now. She just wanted love. Because of Ryan, I own more cat shirts. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh bought God. 12 vintage G.I. Joe, Joe's, a Willie's G.I. Joe tank, and a lot of accessories. Paid 85 for all of it and sold just one for $107. Whoa. We've sold some good G.I. Joe stuff, too. That's See, awesome. See, when you do your research yep. and you take the time to like look through what you buy, if you buy a bunch, mm. it it's for itself. Oh my and god. And then Piano Rock says, I really like the care video. Awesome. Yay. That's so cool. If you guys missed it, because videos like that on our channel don't typically get that many views, but they should. Go and watch the last video that we put out. It's just a puppy video. It's about dogs. And it's also about a really good local organization called Care. Um they're and they're, in, a no they're a no kill shelter. shelter. It's very they do so much for the community. Yeah. It's incredible what they do. Bloomingdale, right? They're off yeah. in Ruskin. Yeah, they're oh. in Ruskin. Oh, very cool. And if you don't want to support them, support your local no-kill animal shelter. Of course. Absolutely. And then the last question, Hidden Patel says, should I do free returns on eBay if I'm overseas? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. We work with, like I said, we work with a lot of people in like Australia and that, and they don't do free returns. A lot of them still do, um, still don't do free shipping either, and it works over there because, as you know, in Australia, you're used to paying for Ship, for shipping whereas in america <laughs> amazon prime ruined that for us so. Thanks, prime. all right guys thank you so much for watching we really thank appreciate you. it um we'll see rally roots memes i don't know are Ooh, there there should, should be <laughs> go on the reddit thread and see oh my god all right guys we love you so much and um uh thr wow. thrift hall video out at 10 a.m tomorrow make sure that you guys look for that one and we will see you on the next uh the next video thanks for coming everybody Peace Bye. Out, guys.